Hello you, good to see you. How are you doing? You know, we're not getting too many visitors these days. And it's a shame because there's a whole lot of things to see and do. And we could do with some help right now, I can tell you. We're losing trees every day. If it goes on like this, there'll be no forest left in a year or two. The local paper, The Globe, are onto it. They've sent their ace reporter, Sue, to investigate. Do come in with us and help us crack the problem. Need help? I expect this one's about the rings on the trees. See them? Trees get a new ring each year, so each ring represents a year in the life of the tree, OK? Count them up and click on the age of the tree. How old do you think it is? Oh, hi! Look, I wonder if you can help me. My name's Sue, Sue Miller. I work for the Globe, you know, the local paper. I'm doing a story about the forest, and I've got to find out what the trees are used for. I'm trying to find the forester. I've been looking all over the place, but I've had no luck so far. It would be great if you could help me with my story. Please, will you? This is a turn-up. Not many children come round here to find out about the forest. I'm glad you've come. Did you notice something earlier in your travels? A large bit of the forest has been cut down and cleared. If you want to learn about the forest, I think you should have a good look round. Off the top of my head, I can think of three other areas you should visit. When you've done that, drop in on me at my cottage. I've got some tests you can give me a hand with. This one is about hot and cold. Click on each one of the things in the picture, then decide what temperature that thing might be. Click on the temperature. Mind the very hot one. <laughs> 